Okay, this is Mike Soares of Soresi Tenor Guitars. Uh, we're going to talk today. This is a uh, new bridge for uh, arch top tenor guitars. Uh, also, be used on other four string, eight string uh, musical instruments. Uh, what we're doing is we're taking this uh, the, the newer style. I think they call it Nashville uh, Tunematic Bridge. This is the one that has the screws right into the body, so the uh, saddles hold in better, as opposed to the older style that had the spring. When you take off the two end saddles, uh, you can get some rattling and the saddles can move. This way the saddles stay nice when you're making a uh, four string or eight string bridge. Uh, for an eight string right now, what we do is we sand down the saddles and we recut them for a uh, eight string. Uh, they do make these in a 12 string but not the Nashville style and the saddles from the 12 string that has a spring across the back have a different threading. We haven't gotten to the point where we've gotten the uh, tap to try to retap them yet so right now we've only made four string uh, bridges out of these but this is uh, in Nashville. Uh, we like to use this what we call a mustache base. It's a lower base. They, you'll also find these online with the higher base uh, depending upon what your needs are. Uh, this one's too high for what we do. But they do come in this style where you can buy them with the higher base. Okay. So what we like to do is use this lower base for our needs. And another thing is if for any reason you need it even lower, these bases can be sanded down a little bit. And you can also sand these down uh, to right underneath the screws if you need to bring this down lower. So what we do is uh, we take uh, this style bridge here with the adjusters. Now they do make these with different size holes. You want the smaller holes. Uh, usually these are sold with uh, this style uh, adjuster. Uh, these aren't usable for what we're doing. You can use this if you're making a, uh, a solid body tenor. You can use this style where you're going to drill this right into the body. But for our purposes we're using the uh, low style mustache uh, bridge base. Okay, so what we do with that is we take the uh, six string bridge, we remove the two end saddles. What we like to do is we like to fill the end pockets with either an epoxy, in this case has an open bottom, so we would tape the bottom and tape the holes on the side so the epoxy doesn't run out. Either that or you can use Bondo. We find that by filling these with the epoxy or the bondo, you get a better sustain across the bridge, uh, so you don't lose out on that hollow spot. But again, this is the uh, the bridge with the two ends taken off. <coughs> and then what we like to do is we take out all our saddles, and we line up our saddles. Sometimes these saddles are different. Uh, we have two different types the bridges here. This one here has the regular slotted screws in the back. Uh, this one here had Phillips screws in the back. Uh, sometimes the saddles are all the same. Sometimes they're slightly different heights for the arch. It depends upon how this piece here is made. Okay, but uh, either way we like to keep our saddles in line according to how they came off the bridge. And on this here, what we do is we use a mirror pick guard. Uh, after we fill epoxy the uh, holes, this one has a solid bottom, the other one had a, a hollow bottom. And we fill the uh, holes on the one and the six string saddle with a five, a five minute epoxy. And then we epoxied the mirror over that. Uh, this is uh, eighth inch, or you can get these in 16 inch mirror, and we cut the little pieces down and uh, make our end pins. Now, the, the covers 
covers, they can either be this one we did by hand. Uh, we hand filed this down and sanded it and fitted this to the bridge to make the cover. And then what we usually do is we buff the ends to a clear, fine sand it. You can buff all your ends. Gives you a little bit nicer look. You can also just use them if you don't have power tools and stuff. You can just use them with the frosted ends. It's fine. Still gives a very nice look. Okay, so this one here was uh, fitted by hand. Uh, this here we did with the router. We routed it and then we uh, buffed the ends out so that they look clear. And that's the bridge. Now you can, if you want, depending upon the height and the size of the saddles uh, and the adjuster pin. See, uh, this one here we're hitting underneath the plate. Now if we need to go down low all the way, we can drill out from underneath. You can drill out these two ends on the uh, bridge. On this here, we're going to router it, and what we do here is we take a piece of Formica, and we put the Formica onto the router so it gives us a better table to work on. Uh, I don't know if the camera's showing this or not, but on this here, you would router this around, then buff the ends. After you buff the ends, you reinstall your saddles, and again, you can drill out for your adjusters if you need to. This one has slightly bigger holes in it, but these come with a sleeve to fit the smaller adjusters. And uh, these adjusters you can buy separately. You can make your own base if you needed to. Uh, but most of these are standard size on the spaces with a lot of the wooden base saddles. And uh, <coughs> So again, we would router this, <coughs> then buff them out, put your bridge back together, and you have a nice looking four string arch top for tenor guitar. I say these can also be made to fit a mandolin uh, by shaving down the uh, saddles and refiling them for an eight string. Uh, we haven't had the need to make a a string yet. Uh, we do have some extra uh, 12 string saddles that, that we can remove from another style, the older style bridge. They don't make these in the 12 string yet with the, the Nashville style. Uh, they probably will soon, but uh, we'll be trying to uh, first have to find out the tap on these and re-tap the, uh, the ones for 12 string to get a proper made eight string bridge out of that and for this here I'm going to show you on the router uh, again I don't know if the camera is going to catch this let me just move these out of the way but this is the with that again now this would be then buffed out or you can leave it like that if you want you could put some blue tape around the chrome to protect the chrome on this one here it, it ate up the, uh, the chrome a little bit it shouldn't have but it did but uh, that's how we do it with the router but again this can be done by hand and then you would just epoxy these over the holes okay this is Mike Soares AC tenor guitars. Hope this helps. This makes a very nice adjustable. You got your uh, adjustable pin so you can use this for all types of tunings on your arch top tenor guitars. Uh, this can be used some for some flat tops. You can make this flat for the old arch tops that the old flat top guitars that have the floating bridge. This can be used as well.
and again like I say they can also be used in a solid body by using these pins that drill into the top. Okay, this is Mike Soares, Racy Tenor Guitars. Thank you.